Yeah. Um, welcome to this time out with Marcus Sikure. Now, shortly, I want to talk. In fact, I want to advise my youth, Delta youth. Now, on something that has been bothering me so much, you know, recently I spoke to the president of uh, uh, the European Progressive Association, who happens to be a player in the aviation sector. He's an air traffic controller, you know, uh, the person of Prince Organeti Jirogegere. And I, I told him, I said, let us see how we can galvanize opportunities for our people in the area of aviation, you know, because, you know, I got exposed to some information in the aviation sector. And I felt that, yes, our people cannot just have these stereotypes kind of mindset of everybody just running after politics and politics alone. And they initiated the process. He was able to bring in some big names to the aviation sector and they've stricken some partnership arrangements. And this link has been, you know, uh, going on. They've been sharing this link on social media for people to apply as in to click on the link and register. No, this one, the program is happening, is going to happen today, you know, by 7 or thereabouts, this is 7 p.m., and I was shocked to check the registration this morning, and I found out that from about a hundred and something persons, we have less than ten percent from Delta State who have registered. Now it hurts me so much, and I feel I should talk to the youth, and that's why I'm making this video. Now today is so painful and shameful that this uh, new clause, as in the central focus of every young person in Delta State, the majority of us is just politics as though everything revolves around politics. But life is not actually all about politics. That is the truth. Now, you see an average data you today, you know, is loyal to somebody. He's following one politician or the other. Even those in the bank banking sector, many of them, their plan is to resign and go into politics. There are a lot of young people today just see politics as a cash cow. You see why Nigeria today cannot be, you know, the problem cannot be fixed. It cannot be repaired. Now, today we're out talking about Peter B, Peter B. Peter B is not even going to do the magic alone as a person until we renew our mindset so any leader who is going to come up any transformative leader and all that you know we have so much of work to do but the most important point is that in this country the bedrock of the challenges and the problems we are having today is more of a followership problem than leadership problem and that is the truth now we have brought this program to you you are not paying any amount of money. It's free of charge, but you don't want to do it. Now, we have more of Eurobars in there. We have some evils there. And tomorrow, you see that the Eurobars are always ahead. And all that kind of people. Information is power. I recall the other time I was invited to speak in a church, and uh, I spoke on business without capital. Mm -hmm. Do you know from the audience, from the crowd that attended that program, you know, over 80% of them were from the West? And the East because they have this high responsiveness to issues of life, to programs that will impact their lives, self-developmental mm -hmm. programs. That is it. Now, at the end of the program, we set up a mentorship platform. You know, in that mentorship platform, you know, we could not find many of our people in there. We have more of the Westerners, people from the West and other on that platform. And as if that wasn't enough, the youth couples who attended that program, they went to their lodge and organized a private program and invited me, gave me an envelope to come and speak to them. More on that issue. And I did that program with them. Now, your quest for knowledge, your quest for self-development, that is key. Today, we have a bundle of youth, a bunch of youth who feel that, you know, they are going to hammer and the only way to hammer is through politics. Now, they align themselves with one political leader or the other, but you yourself, you are empty. Leaders are value hunters. These politicians you are running after, they are all value hunters. By the time they will ascend that office today, they are going to need people who, who will make that office work for them. And you will find out that you are just empty. You can't even fit in. You know, other than some using you for some sort of, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, um, uh, a nuisance value kind of uh, jobs and all that. So it's terrible, it's shameful. Now, every data youth must look inward. The only thing that can announce the son of a poor man is self-development. Develop yourself. Develop yourself. Now, that politician you are running after and all that, they will come after you by the time you develop, you groom and develop yourself. That is, I have a lot of friends today who have groomed and developed themselves so much. Today, they are consultants. They consult for politicians. They earn good money. And politicians respect them. They take their cause. So what are you doing? I'm not saying it's wrong to support a politician. I'm not saying it's wrong to, you know, uh, follow a course that you believe in. There's nothing wrong about that. But prioritize yourself because you are the most important thing here. 
Now, a friend of mine once lamented to me that he belongs to a, fo a forum, you know, where they teach them how to own your own school and how to manage, you know, your school, how to go into real estate and prosper in real estate. I discovered that in that forum of about 500 and something people, that he is the only one from Delta State. Is it not surprising to you? Now we are bringing this aviation opportunity to you. You won't register because you feel that, oh, that person, that politician you are aligning yourself with is going to win and when he wins, your life will transform. Nothing is new and nothing is permanent. Now, ask yourself this question. You've been pursuing, you've been running after one political leader or the other since 1999 till date. Take stock of achievement. What have you really achieved? Now, because when the chips are down, these people don't really care. Many of them don't even care about you. Chances are that when a politician wins election, the first 300 people that comes to his mind are not even those who actually helped him to come in there. Sometimes it takes the grace of God. But if you are that that have distinguished yourself, you developed yourself, now he will reckon with you. That is just the truth. Can Now, you see youth today doing one million man match, one thousand man match for this, for ABC and all that. Ask yourself, now this one million people, you think he'll be able to empower you? No, he won't. He's not able. It's only those that have distinguished themselves, that have these values in themselves, that he's going to reckon with at the end of the day. So think about this. Prioritize yourself. Make yourself. You are the most important constituency in my youth, my fellow youth. That's what I'm telling you today. Today you have a lot of you. You've been following leaders, politicians since 1999, but today you're always broke. You talk of gas. You want to feed gas. You beg people money to feed gas. You beg people money to buy gas. And, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, your wife put to bed. You call the politician and my wife just delivered because you're expecting him to give you money. As though he's the one that impregnated your wife. Now, if he fails to give you money, you go back to the page of social media, you start insulting him, he's a useless politician. And how long will you continue like that? It doesn't make sense. Concentrate in yourself. There's nothing wrong in aligning with them, in supporting politicians. Like me, I have politicians I respect, I have politicians I support. But it does not make me stupid. I don't depend on them for anything. I'm not going to come beg them for anything because I've developed myself. You know, I have means of livelihood. And that is why today I can look into any politician's eyes and tell him or her the truth that this thing is not good. Now, these leaders are having problems today because we have a bunch of youths who cannot tell them the truth when they are going wrong. You know, so whatever the leader does is okay. Oh, leader, carry go. Shwai, shwai. Now, many of these young people, we are loyal to a bottle of beer. They just give you stipends. You know, your father dies. They give you money to buy a cow. They give you... These are not sustainable empowerment. What you need is sustainable empowerment. And so painful today that when we are bringing information that will give you sustainable empowerment, many of you, you have developed an attitude that is repelling to such kind of opportunities. An attitude that is what there is resistance. Now, let's talk about the aviation sector. Too. Do you know an average pilot to that entry level ends about 1.6 million? What about cabin crew? Cabin crew, the least amount of all those beautiful guests you see in plane, local planes and all that. They earn like 300 to 500,000. That is just the truth. Now, our guests today, their own, <laughs> I don't even want to go there. You go on TikTok, you go on Instagram, the only thing many guests you just feed they can <laughs> offer is boobs and uh, bum bum. Twerking. They just twerk, uh, you get waste, you'll be wife material. <laughs> like a pokey talk. Now, which tell all I saw you. <laughs> you know, it's terrible. You know, these things are not sustainable. Tomorrow, TikTok is going to change policy. What if TikTok just comes up today and says, no, we want to control this thing. is creating so much of uh, economic uh, uh, negative energies for our young people. And they are banning, placing ban on uh, boobs and uh, twerking. Then you are finished. You just notice that you are a carton, an empty carton, ban envelope. So why not develop yourself? Develop yourself and pursue more sustainable ventures. That's the only way you'll be happy with yourself. And society will truly place good value and respect you. That is it. Now, this aviation thing, the program is 7 p.m. today. If you have not registered, ensure you register. I'm not begging you because it's for your own good. Ensure you register. It's free. Ensure you register and chart a good course for your life. There are a lot of opportunities out there. But because we are so beclouded with politics, 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 you know, we are leaving those things which are strategically correct and important to our future. Philip Kotler says, and I always quote it, that it is better to do what is strategically correct rather than what is immediately profitable. That is just the truth. Sometimes a leader is not carrying me along. The leader cannot carry you along and it's not his fault, it's your fault because you don't have what it takes for the leader to carry you along. That is it. You don't have values. There's no values in you. It goes beyond just making posts, insulting people on behalf of your leader. 
At the end of the day, it's boring study. Give you, they make you essay. You have been essay once. You've been PA before. You've been this. Today, you are still always broke. You don't have any meaningful thing to write home about today. So make yourself the important new close point. Develop yourself. You can support any politician you want to support. I don't have a problem with that. But do not do it at the expense of your own self-development. I would like it as a young man if you approach a politician with issues pertaining to your self-development. How many of you at any point have met a politician? I want to do a PhD program on strategic this. I want to do a particular key program that will enable you to establish yourself. No. Just ephemeral things, things that don't even make any sense. And sometimes you now make the position look like the problem, but you are the problem. The phone is more followers the problem. That is the truth. So I think I've spoken so much today on this. So I want you to pick up the lesson objective from this broadcast, learn your lessons from it, and turn a new leaf. If you've not registered, kindly register on my channel, subscribe to my channel, share this video, let it go viral, and encourage your friends to subscribe too. I'm still your friend, Marcos Ikure. Nice talking to you. Bye for now.